you get down there? Oh, I found out how you get down there. This is not good. I'm gonna have to like jump the fence or I carry my kayak across the lock. But that sounds dangerous. Solo kayaking in the UK on the River Avon, Stratford upon Avon to Bidford. If you're new here, I'm Lucy and this is my travel blog, Explore with Lucy. So since the COVID-19 pandemic hit, I've been trying to find more creative ways to go out and enjoy my local surroundings and the UK, the country I'm home to, um, that maybe a few staycations or just generally going, making the effort to visit places that I hadn't really bothered, wasn't like I wasn't so bothered about before because I was planning far off adventures. And, and a part of that was buying a kayak this is my baby. Today's adventure started on a very busy Sunday, so there were not many parking spaces. Here I am unloading the kayak with some help from my mom. Oh, and here I am putting on my spray deck and talking absolute rubbish, um, chatting away. And on goes the buoyancy aid. It's not that pretty. When you're a kayaker out of water, it is certainly a look with the skirt going on in the front and not the back. I'm just getting all my things together, dry bag, raincoat, my wraps, um, water and paddle. Okay, here's all my kit. I need to get the hatch off because I don't want to have this in between my legs. Just another thing to add, um, we uh, we're just throwing out some of like the food that's gone old today and we have some wraps so my mum's given me some wraps which I need to find some ducks or some swans so I can feed the wraps to the swans. <laughs> Thank you. Bye mum! <laughs> Um, let's talk a little bit about the trip I'm going to be taking today. So I spent the last like two months building up my stamina in my kayak. I've literally done that just by going out like for a couple of hours sort of every other day in a week literally just going in the local river going in the Avon and um, going between a couple of villages literally just doing like an hour or two hour trip. So I'm now at a point where like my stamina is a lot higher, my arms feel stronger um, I know that I can I know that I can paddle for a lot longer and last week I took my very first extended trip I went from Barford to Stratford which is about nine miles I decided not to video it just because I wanted to concentrate on being able to get out weirs um, and just not have like an extra distraction I'm, and because I'm by myself like you have to be hyper aware of your safety and your surrounding today I'm going on my second extended trip I'm going from Stratford to Bidford today which is a little bit longer, it's about 10 miles. I believe there are six weirs to get through on this trip today. So you're gonna have to bear with me. There's gonna be lots of getting in and out. It's gonna be interesting for everyone because I think everyone looks a fool getting out of their kayak, but I feel like I look awful and terrible and I just I have fallen in a couple times. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, okay, the first weir is um, just the other side of Stratford and now I'm gonna take you through Stratford. the wraps stuck to the front of the boat okay i found lots of swans but the thing is i just don't want them to like swarm me the minute they know i have food so the weir is just further up that way and honestly it's it's like literal chaos like boats turning the rowers are in the mix i'm just trying to find a spot to get out which is over there and then we should be clear to go down that way so this 
of it is quite shallow, so I've had to um, use my hand a little bit to manoeuvre myself out. Um, not good, not good. I'm stuck again, and I'm having to put you like this, so I can lean backwards and push. This is literally me pushing my hand into the floor. It's freaking cold. Maybe I should have walked down further, but to be honest, my kayaks are really heavy. Okay, okay, we're doing this now. Ooh. Through the weeds. Doo -doo -doo. That's where we got in. Maybe not again. Oh, and there's the lock. Okay, now we're out of Stratford. This is where my trip really begins. Except for in like a mile, I'm gonna get out another weir. Oh, we've got signposts today. That wall is looking really high. Oh God, wish me luck. I didn't film any of that last year. Honestly, I was just so embarrassed. Like the step up was so high and this wouldn't have been good. Also, there was this guy fishing and he was literally just so close to where I was getting in. And I could just tell he was watching and waiting for me to fall. Okay, I believe we are coming up to our third weir of the day. Um, let's look for a point to get out. Oh wow, that is a nice house. That is not, oh my God, just look how cute and romantic that little thing on the end is. That bit looks quite low. Let's aim for over here. Mm. I'm just gonna leave my kayak here for a little second and just scope out where I can get it. Oh God, oh God, and there's loads of singing nettles. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, how do you get down there? Oh, I found out how you get down there. I'm not getting a kayak down there, am I? Okay, I now need to find another part of the river to get back in on. Um, this is going to be interesting. There's like this little bridge over here, but the sea nettles, like, oh god, no, it leads nowhere. This is not good. I'm going to have to like jump the fence, get into the farmer's field, and get back in there because there's literally no way. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Or oh, I carry my kayak across the lock. But that sounds dangerous. I don't know what to do. Oh my God, am I actually blind? So there's a massive bridge across the lock. Look, there's a bridge. Jesus Christ. I'm getting myself in a huge panic for nothing. I'm actually an idiot sometimes. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. Do you want to see me pick up my kayak? We need a wee, but there's a boat coming. 
so there's nowhere to duck behind. Those guys were so nice. The guy was like, do you want to use our boat to like get in? Because the drop is really high. Like it was really steep. It was at least a metre to get in. And luckily I walked around the corner and found like a little slope bit to get in. But like, oh, isn't that so sweet? <laughs> Oh my god, I see some ducks. I see some ducks? Should we see if they want some wraps? Hi ducks! Oh no! No! The river's flowing this way. They're catching up with me. All the pieces of wrap. Oh no. Oh, and the ducks are swimming away. We are just gonna have to find more ducks. I'm just going through Welford which marks about halfway along this journey. There is a weir to the end of the town, like literally the wall, it goes like this um, around the village. Um, so as soon as I've done the weir I will stop to have some lunch. Okay we're just coming up to the next weir, let's look for a spot to get out. Oh, I see. Oh no, they're fishing. I was like, oh, kayakers. Yay. This is like a nice little picnic spot. Found a spot to go for a wee. Um, had a look at where I'm gonna get in. I think it's another really high one, which is fine. It's easier to get in on a high one than it is to get out. Um, but it's lunch time, it's lunch time. And I'm gonna just sit in the shade because uh, I can already feel myself getting burnt and I didn't bring my sun cream. This is so relaxing. I don't know if I want to get back in my boat. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. This is very steep. Oh my God, okay. I don't think I can get that in. Let's just walk down to the end and see. Oh. Okay, thank God, there's a slope, there's a slope. Right, cool. I can just feel myself getting tired. So lifting the kayak, I'm like, oh, my shoulder, like, and uh, I really like can't put it on my left side. So you've got to be reliant completely on this. <sighs> All right, let's get in the water. Let's get paddling. I feel like I always like fire myself into the boat. So 
I'm like, let's be prepared to shoot away. This has been the calmest get back in <laughs> I think I've done so far. Um, I believe I have one weir to go after this and then, and then I'm done, but it's quite far. Like we have got a big chunk of, oh God. <laughs> What the hell is happening with my shorts? We have got quite a big chunk of countryside in between me and the next village, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna pull through. Um, it's so nice today, so I just feel very lucky to even be outside. The swans are loving the wraps. <laughs> they make such a weird noise. <laughs> yeah. Guys, this is a feast. Okay, that's it. That's it, they're all gone. That was the closest to going in. I'm actually looking at this little island in the middle and there are so many really nice, easy, friendly sliding options over there. But to get to that little island, I would have had to climb out at a really high point as well. One more, there's one more. Okay, this is where I just got in. That's still pretty steep. Okay, um, this is the height I've got to get out of. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh my God. we're done I'm very near the end and I am hyper aware that my battery is getting very 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 low quickly so <laughs> if I don't make it to the end of this video um, or there's some footage missing uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and if you've enjoyed coming along with me today please click subscribe <laughs> I know it's over here over here over here and if you can't wait till I post a new video, please do check out my blog. It is explorewithlucy.co.uk. No, it's not. <laughs> it is explorewithlucy.com where I have loads of travel hacks, tips, um, stories, loads of bits to get you inspired to explore the world. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. It feels so good.